Hi Girl Scouts, my name is Montserrat Hidalgo and I earned my gold award in 2024. As with any significant achievement, earning your gold award requires careful planning, dedication, and time management. Today, I'll explain how to manage your time throughout the gold award process. You must spend a minimum of 80 hours spent over at least three months working on your project. While 80 hours may sound intimidating, your project will be broken up into several smaller and manageable parts. While the content of your project is entirely up to you, we suggest following this framework to divide the process into more digestible steps. You can spend up to 10 hours working on your project prior to council approval. This includes any work or research you do to prepare your project plan before council review, such as contacting potential community partners, finding volunteers, and investigating potential venues. After you get council approval, you will probably continue to research and plan for your project. It is recommended that you spend up to 40% of your total time preparing for your project. This could include contacting your venues and setting up times for workshops. After planning, it is time to implement your plan and lead your team. This step can represent between 30 to 50% of your total time. This can include leading workshops and training volunteers. Earning money can be between 5 to 15% but this step is optional if your project does not require a lot of money to implement. Wrap-up activities repre represents 5 to 10%. This includes reflecting on your impact and sending thank yous to your team. The amount of time spent on a project is highly variable, and you shouldn't use anyone else's timeline as basis for your own. Don't worry if your project doesn't adhere exactly to this structure. One important factor when making a timeline for your project is processing time for your proposal interview and exit interview. After you finish your proposal, you must submit it before 11.59 p.m. on the first business day of the month to be eligible for that month's interviews. It may take up to two months to get an interview, so submit your proposal as soon as your idea is solidified. The faster you get it approved, the sooner you can get started on your project. When you finish your project, you must complete and submit your final report by March 1st if you wish to be included in that year's Gold Award ceremony. If you submit after this deadline, you will be included in the following year's ceremony. Like the proposal interviews, all final reports must be submitted before the first of the month and will be scheduled for interviews within the first two weeks of that month. This means that submitting your final report on February 30th will guarantee that your final interview will be in March. But if you submit your final report on March 1st, your interview will be in April. Keep in mind that interviews take place the first two weeks of each month, and it gets harder to schedule an exit interview closer to the deadline. Here's an example of the time log. As you can see, you can log a variety of activities like emailing your community partner, learning to use social media platforms, and practice explaining your project. Even if you spend 15 to 20 minutes working, it is worth logging. Feel free to pause the video and read through the rest of these time log examples. You may also be wondering when the best time to start your project is. The best is to start early. With school and other extracurricular activities, completing the Gold Award may take longer than you may think. Starting early in high school as a freshman or sophomore gives you enough time to plan and set your course of action before junior and senior year. Plus, this allows you to write about your project in your college applications. Balancing school and a Gold Award project is difficult, but there are a few things you can do to make it easier. Here are a few tips that other Girl Scouts have used to balance their workload. Completing the heavier requirements, like your proposal during school breaks, can help reduce the stress from balancing everything. Many Girl Scouts take advantage of their Thanksgiving or winter break to brainstorm and get started on the paperwork. If it is impossible, you can make a goal to finish Balancing school and a Gold Award project is difficult, but there are a few things you can do to make it easier. Here are a few tips that other Girl Scouts have used to balance their workload. Completing the heavier requirements, like your proposal during school breaks, can help reduce the stress from balancing everything. 
Many Girl Scouts take advantage of their Thanksgiving or winter break to brainstorm and get started on the paperwork. If this is impossible, you can make it a goal to finish certain hour items over a few weekends or whenever you know you'll have free time. Then, many Girl Scouts take advantage of their summers to implement their plan when they don't have as many commitments. While it may feel overwhelming at times, working with community to tackle your issue can be rewarding and worth it in the end. However, if you feel like you're juggling too much, we encourage you to take a step away from your project. While there are tedious parts to every large project like the Gold Award, your project shouldn't feel like extra homework and stress all the time. Lastly, let's talk about a few time management tips. One tip to reducing your overall workload is to break your project in steps or phases and dedicate a chunk of time to each step. You can break your project into recruitment, publicity, collection, or event phases, and to set smaller goals. For example, you can dedicate 15 hours to publicizing your project within your community. To reach this goal, you may spend time learning graphic design, printing flyers, speaking at local events, or collaborating with other organizations. Viewing your project as a series of these smaller goals is the key to staying organized, maintaining motivation, and making a steady progress towards completion. Working consistently is key. While there will be busier weeks where you don't get as much done, don't let this discourage you from picking up where you left off. Another tip is to use another time tracker app in addition to Go Gold, like Tog, Track, or Timely. These apps are user friendly and visually display your progress on your phone and may be more convenient for you when you don't have access to Go Gold. Just be sure to log all your hours in Go Gold as this is what the council will see during the exit interview process. Thanks for watching Girl Scouts. If you have any more questions or need further support, please don't hesitate to contact Deanne Moore at D. M-O-O-R-E at GirlScoutsLA.org. We look forward to seeing all the amazing projects you will create.